Hello guys, almost addicted here, and today we will be building this beautiful ultimate medieval house. Now um, this is just me building away, so hopefully you will get some tips and tricks from it to be able to build your very own medieval house. I've even done the landscape, and as you can see, I've just built the stairs going round so it kind of curls round. And I'm just working on the landscape here. Now your landscape could be however you like. You don't have to do it custom. You could probably do it in a normal world. But I felt I wanted to make my own landscape. So I created my own feeling to the build. And make it look just awesome. So as you can see I'm filling it all in. I'm doing the stairs in the stone. And just kind of curling it round. It's more of a an organic sort of feel to it. And um, when it came to the house, I just built up the structure and I kind of worked around a box. So I built up the box and then I decided I wanted like little bits that poke out at the end. I don't know what I'm on about. Little bits of um, what they call balconies at the side. So wherever I chose to put a balcony, um, the, that's where the bal balcony w was really. <laughs> I don't, I don't know to be honest so yeah as you can see just working around a box uh, I decided I actually wanted um, a tower um, to come at the side of it that's where the cobblestone is just worked with all the basic survival stuff and I had like at the front entrance here I wanted a small little tiny roof coming off the big roof just kept it plain and simple with a little bit of oak and instead of going stair block stair block I just decided to stick with the stairs because you could probably turn this into a survival house as well so yeah I put tiny little roofs coming off so this is the very front entrance and uh, yeah I just kind of curled it round and I did a little bit different with this one so I kind of wanted it to be more inspiring so people could look at it and like little areas of the build and maybe implement it into their own build and um, so as you can see I'm using the cobblestone I'm using the stone I'm using the oak, I do use the spruce later on and I use some white uh, wool as well just for the kind of like white um, slats that are going into the build um, but yeah it looks pretty awesome and it was very very random with the sides of the walls and stuff like that so you guys can kind of like make it however you feel would look best obviously filling in the roof and then joining it into the smaller roof as you can see here but i will get a closer look so you can kind of have a look and um, as you can see it was building that round like that putting the stone in there and then round this other side i of course did that little tower thing i do actually build it up a lot higher later on well not a lot higher but a little bit higher and um, but as you can see here i'm just adding little windows in I'm adding the white wool round as well and like other little kind of roofs coming off it little bits of balconies and stuff and as you can see it's very random I've got the cobblestone at the bottom there I decide to pull out some windows a little bit later and yeah so here's a kind of example for you say you've got a blank wall and you're like what do I do maybe you could just fill it in with stone and then put a couple of the um, oak logs and add a little bit of white wool in there as well so for this front facing one maybe you could put two stone walls either side and then logs there or you could have a three stone wall a log and then add some white wool in as well so I think the more random with builds like this that are quite organic the more better they turn out so I think it turned out okay and um, so yeah pulling out some windows here it was fairly plain and we've got a fairly plain wall here so I thought I would add a little bit of the dirt and some of the trap doors to add into that as well and obviously you can just kind of do whatever you like with it but underneath here see dirt trap doors and then I decided to put some bush on it as well just to make it look a little less plain on the inside I just filled it up I didn't actually do the interior and um, I just kind of did the floor level so in spruce and then down at the bottom I did some spruce as well just filled it all in but I'm sure you could divide up these walls and make it look pretty awesome and um, I've got a stairway going up to the tower as you can see there and uh, the replay mod is all over the place but there you go um, these things happen and um, so at the front here we've got the front entrance and I decided on the balconies I'm going to run some of the oak going around it 
and uh, yeah of course uh, the top balconies had decided to plane them all in with some spruce when I say plane I don't know what I'm on about but it sounds all right so we're gonna go with it just ignore that bit it's a figment of your imagination um and I don't know what I did next to be honest and then we go over with the oak oak slabs and adding a little bits of detail in here and uh, went around and added all the glass in and um, so just adding all the glass going around the building and then for detail just putting logs like poking out in different areas and of course a fence along the front balcony for the tower um, I used the same technique with the white wool, the stone, and uh, yeah, this is because it's an odd number. I just kind of joined them together like this, and then obviously it's not going to meet in the middle, so I kind of just did little squares, put some of the stairs around it, and then just added like little patterns on the side here. As you can see, it kind of looks like a bit of an eagle, so it's like stair and then two stairs facing out like that. So yeah, you've got kind of like an eagle mark on each side. And I decided that the windows were too small at the top so I would add some logs there and remove a little bit of the white wool and make them two windows. And then of course put some of the balconies going around it and maybe some support fences and uh, little bits of logs just adding more detail to the tower. Keeping it fairly simplistic for the build, um, the actual building. Um, but when it came to the tower just add a little bit more detail. I just felt it would stand out a little bit better. And now I just added some red roses, just painted the whole place so it kind of blends all in together with the landscape, just bone milled the heck out of it. And then decided I wanted a little water fountain coming down from here. So the water fountain's coming down, added sugar cane and I added some stone in patches with gravel as well. And then I decided a big chimney is what is needed in a medieval house. It's four by four or two by two even. It's uh, four altogether and then uh, yeah if you put the stairs like that it makes a fantastic um, chimney top that's if you can get them to blend round and I actually did another chimney at the other side as well as you can see here I just kind of removed what I'd already put and decided to put a big chimney down there so maybe you could put some of the cold uh, what the furnaces um, on the inside so it kind of connects to all of these things um, that probably work out quite well and then I just uh, faced the logs facing out and just put buttons all over the logs just to add extra detail. Obviously it's quite simplistic but at the end of this video I am going to show you what it looks like in the conquest texture pack with some shaders as well. So you can kind of get a bit more of a vibe of the building and how it looks and uh, you get to see underneath, uh, underneath the ground, underneath, what's that even mean? Underneath the ground because it's got like a little bit of a cave system. Um, but obviously you could do way way more underneath you could obviously lead it to some underground caves so without further ado let's have a watch of this and uh, hopefully you enjoyed guys I'm just going to leave you with this playing and I shall see you in the next video make sure you slap a huge like on this video and if you would like a world download because um, I might actually give a world download for this one um, so yeah, make sure you comment down below and uh, I will make sure I do that. I might actually pin it as a comment if we get enough um, people watching this video. Because otherwise it doesn't really give people incentive to, uh, I'd, I guess, watch the whole video and um, leave a like. So there, catch you in the next video. Peace.